Hello, Freckle Love friends. I am jumping on here live today super quick. Um, I have not gone live in like forever, so I thought I would do a quick, and I do mean quick, um, tutorial of a, a what I'm gonna call a five minute look. It'll probably take me longer than five minutes because I talk too much, but that's what I'm gonna try to achieve here today because I am getting ready for work at the library and I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna start with toner. Mm. Love that toner. If you've never tried that rose water toner, you really need to give it a try. It is so great for all kinds of skin issues, especially in the summer. Sunburn, bugs, bug bites, razor burn. My guys even use it for razor burn even though it smells like roses and they complain that it smells girly, but they use it because it works and it's great. Any kind of little um, bumps, irritations, uh, even psoriasis, rosacea, eczema, it helps. And that is my moisturizer going on super quick. And then a little bit of primer. I'm using the original primer today. And of course, as I'm going live, the dogs have to start barking. So there is my primer. This is the original gel primer. I really like this one. I'm out of the hydrating right now. That's obviously my favorite, because at my age, I need the extra moisture, even in the summer because I really battle dry skin, especially along the edges of my face. But I'm out right now, so I'm using the original today. And then I'm going to grab the spray foundation, again, just because I'm out the liquid. I generally like to use the liquid. I know a lot of older gals my age don't like the liquid. Um, they say it settles in their lines and wrinkles. And that may be true. I've not found that to be an issue, but I'm gonna use the spray today. One, because it's quick and easy. And like I said, I am out. Now notice I'm doing my foundation first, and then I will only use concealer on any areas that I feel like need the extra coverage. I don't always use concealer, because sometimes I get finished and feel like I don't really need it. And sometimes I do. Please pardon my sniffles. Allergies are in full force. My husband mowed for the first time and I am allergic to grass. So when he mows, I tend to get sniffly. We visited my son in South Carolina for Easter. It was fabulous. The weather was so great, but they have a lot of pollen. And wow, was I sniffly. All right, there we go. All finished with that. Grab some concealer. I feel like I need just a little bit, like right in here. I love this doe foot applicator because it lets you put just the right amount on just where you need it. And I'm just gonna use my brush and buff that in. There we go. See what a difference that makes? Look at that. How that brightened up my under eye area. And then I blend it in really good. Huge difference. Helps me look like I'm awake and refreshed. Even if I was up at four in the morning teaching. All right, there we go. Now we are in business. All right, grab my blush brush and my favorite blush of all time, Surreal. Just add a little bit of color back to my face. The thing is, when we put foundation on and we cover up the different tones of our skin, your, obviously your skin is not the same color all over your face. And when we put foundation on, we take away that, we make it all one color, and it looks unnatural. It looks very mask-like. So you need to put a little bit of color back on your cheeks. That's why a lot of women use contouring and highlighting. It's to add that dimension back to your shape so it doesn't look like one flat, ghost-like sheet. And in fact, I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer with my fan brush here. Again, just to do that exact thing, to give me a little bit of fake sun. 
because of course I don't ever actually go out in the sun without sunscreen that is there we go and a little bit of highlighter across the top of my cheekbones to add a little more dimension there buff that in all right next up i'm going to grab my marvelous brown eyeshadow believe it or not i use this with a little um beveled edge brush and a mirror i think i have my mirror here and i'm going to use this as my eye brow color i use regular eyeshadow i like it because I think with the eyeshadow colors, I can come closer to matching my brows. Sometimes those brow pencils or the brow powders come in, you know, like three standard colors, like light, medium, dark. And the medium is like too light and the dark is too dark. And obviously with being auburn, my eyebrows are also a little more towards the auburn side. So I find that eyeshadow actually matches better. And I'm only covering these because I have lots of grays. All right, a little bit of eyeliner. I'm gonna use the other end of this brush and I'm going to go right along my lower lash line. And I'm actually using a plum color that's so dark it almost looks black in the pan but it's actually a super dark plum. Plum is a good choice for brown eyes. And here I will show you, it is right next to, there's the plum. I don't know the exact name of that, I can't remember it. Um, oh, it's escaping me at the moment, but it looks black, but trust me, it is plum. And then I'm going to grab some of my liquid eyeshadow. I'm going to grab business like. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. This is going to be my transition color, my solid color that goes underneath. And I can wear it just like that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You could certainly do that. Lots of women do. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just going to blend it in with my big fluffy brush. I love business like as a first layer. And even though it's a pink color, I think it's neutral enough that it goes with pretty much any other color you wanna put with it. And in fact, I'm gonna put a little bit of Overt, which is actually um, a brown. And I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this right here on the outer edge of my eye. just to bring my eyes out a bit. And again, I'm gonna just blend that in. There we go. There you can see it brings my eyes out so that they look a little wider, also look a little more awake. Now I know that reads super dark on camera. Trust me, in person it is not that dark. I'm gonna grab my Twisted Epic because I love the tiny brush that's in the top. And I'm going to put that on my lower lashes. There we go. One beagle is in here and he's quiet. He's usually my one that's up to no good, but the other one is suspiciously absent, which leads me to ask, what is he doing? All right, little bit of lash primer. If you've never tried a lash primer, you really need to try it. A lot of makeup artists, not with Unique, just makeup. I follow all kinds of like makeup artists just in general. 
from all different companies and some that are just influencers and don't represent any particular company. And I see them all the time recommending a lash primer. It really does make a difference in your lashes. It does exactly what it says. It primes your lashes for the mascara. It helps it stick, helps it stay on all day, helps it um, make your lashes thicker and longer. Now I'm using the 4D and if I've not said this before, it is a double-sided wand. So you need to make sure you comb through your lashes on one side and then flip the wand over and go through it on the other side so that you get both length and width. Now remember the 4D is a fiber mascara. It has little Y-shaped fibers and that's what makes your lashes appear so much longer and thicker. I notice a huge difference between this and a regular mascara. And I like the big, the big lashes. I refuse to do the fake lashes. I would rather do this. I think it gives me just as good a look without all the hassle of fake lashes. And sometimes I think they go overboard and I think they just look too fake. All right, last step, I'm going to add Ooh, a little bit of neutral lip butter just to condition my lips because I'll be wearing a mask. So this just gives a hint of, um, this one's called, oh gosh, I'm gonna need the glasses for this tiny print. This one is called Casual Friday. And you can see it's a very nude color, but it does have peppermint oil in it, which I love. And it, it really moisturizes while well, giving just a hint of color. So my dogs can see me with my lips done, even if nobody at work will see my lips because I'm wearing a mask. And that's it, folks. I am going to do a quick spritz of setting spray, which is like hairspray for your face, just to keep everything where it's supposed to be for the day. And I'm done. I don't know if anybody timed me. I don't know if that took five minutes or not, but I tried. Um, and ignore the turban today. Gotta go do the hair next. So thanks for joining me, friends. If you have any questions as usual, pop them in the comments down below or message me, and I will be glad to answer your questions. All right, see you later. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.